And as the race for the White House winds down, the frequency of attacks from both sides has increased exponentially. During a recent rally in Greensboro, North Carolina, Donald Trump suggested the vice president might have an alcohol or a substance abuse problem. He questioned whether or not she consumes alcohol or drugs before sitting for interviews. 60 minutes she interviews, she was so bad. She gave an answer. This never happened to me. Why does it happen? She gave an answer that was so bad that they changed it. They took it out, threw it out. They didn't, like, edit it a little bit, take a word out. No, no, no. They took the entire, it was a long, stupid, she didn't know where the hell she was going. Does she drink? Is she on drugs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. The former president has also hurled insults at Kamala Harris in other rallies where he called her lazy, mentally impaired, stupid, and a radical left lunatic. There's something wrong with her, too. She's slow, low IQ, something. I don't know what the hell it is, but they lie. I've never, we, we don't need another low IQ person. We had one for four years. We don't need another one. I was going to hit her really hard on the trail today, but now I don't have to because uh, she's off. She's off. No, I can't get over it. Who the hell takes off? You have 14 days left, and she'll take a couple of more days off, too. You know why? She's lazy as hell, and she's got that reputation. She's a radical left lunatic. These outlandish conspiracy theories come as Harris has pledged legislation in support of adult recreational cannabis if she's elected to the White House. In her economic agenda for black men, the vice president said she wants to ensure that black men who are disproportionately affected would profit from the industry. It's just simply not true. And in what public defenders who are around those days will tell you, I was the most progressive prosecutor in California on marijuana cases and would not send people to jail for simple p possession of weed. And as vice president, have been a champion for bringing marijuana down on the schedule. So instead of it being ranked up there with heroin, we bring it down. And my pledge is as president, I will work on decriminalizing it because I know exactly how those laws have been used to disproportionately impact certain populations and specifically black men. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris has responded to the latest claims of Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly. In a series of interviews with the New York Times, Kelly claimed Donald Trump wanted military generals like the ones Nazi dictator Adolf Hitler had. So yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. The vice president said Donald Trump is unhinged and unstable and quoted Kelly, who deemed the Republican presidential nominee a fascist. And it is clear from John Kelly's words that Donald Trump is someone who I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. The attacks between the two presidential hopefuls is expected to get even uglier in the final days of campaigning, even as Americans continue to break records in early voting across the nation. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. election explained every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.